What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, we're going to be holding off the garrison of, Ak of Akbarabad with this force under Yadpreet Yad Yadamredi, who is quite an elite general. But let's take them out. So we're going to want to deploy out of mortar range so their gun crews join the battle and then we can cut them down as we please and their infantry can be mopped up and then this force can begin garrisoning this city and then this will be if they'll have Lahore left towards the northwest but apart from that our territory will be quite secure so let's drop my gun I mean that's quite a delicious looking killing zone but the challenge is there's no guarantees that that's where they actually go So let's take you, 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 you. Form up. Eh, not all of you. That's quite a lot. You men go up here. Drop the gunners here. On the low ground. We'll put some troops down here as a bit of bait. You can fire. Ah, he stole one of your units. Okay, there we go. Make sure you guys join the front rank. Then elsewhere we have just a horde of melee units. Which we're not going to be super smart about deploying, because I think this is gonna, this is going to be a, a musket battle to make them shatter. You men work on the walls, because you may as well. They're all idle, so their gun crews in the centre will up sticks and abandon their positions. And they'll try and charge us. So we're going to focus on knocking a hole in the wall in the event that they decide they want to keep some of the troops inside the city. We can attack it uh, later on in the battle. But yeah, there can be always there's always a bit of a challenge around withstanding sieges because the AI seems to be a bit. Uh, lackluster and actually doing anything. I mean the key moment will be when these guys abandon their guns because then that means they're, they're coming at us. Yeah okay that's that section destroyed. Both these guns work on the garrison musketmen and I'm speeding up time because when the AI is just maneuvering it's not super interesting. You know, you're probably focusing on something I don't necessarily want you to hit because I gave you the orders. Aha, there we go, that now you're working. Yep, just gotta work on the second Akili. Their line is quite wide, but again they're gonna be I mean it's not impossible they send troops up around here, which if they do, we will fall back to this defensive position. Here, along here, and then across the bluff here. So if they charge down the hill, we will meet them with massed um, melee troops. What I'm, what I'm going to do is... Actually, this is should be quite close to this being over. Although, actually, no, there's still only... Still you guys left in the way. Okay, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. And there we go. The enemy is on the move. So there is a significant contingent advancing here, but they're all going to pass within this this bottleneck here, they will get mowed down by these troops. There is one unit that may if they, f if they continue their current path, they will go up to here but they may just be going up and down no guarantees then on the left, again there's a large enemy concentration so we're going to maybe work on Deploying some of these melee troops on the left, because that's where we're going to need them, really. Let's take these two dervish units and position them on the right, just in case. Make sure you're targeting suitable units. Ah, that's, ne that's not a suitable unit for you to target, you're too close. Just begin engaging this armed populace unit here. Their gunners still haven't abandoned their guns. Here we go. These are all armed populace, so 
Yeah, there's a couple of units of garrison must come in behind them, but not enough to make a huge difference. There we go. So that unit did, instead of going up, they are going to reverse their course and head down into this gully here. New units both charge this unit of armed populace. I'd like them to try and chase down this unit of armed populace if this one routes pretty quick. So I'm going to charge a swordsman unit into them. Ultimately, most of these troops are going to fall. The pikemen, if they keep advancing, because bear in mind, these guys are... Oh no, they're not hidden. They're just standing right there. Okay, there we go. Get my Islamic warriors in. Get my camels to push. You men hit the fifth duck eel. You men counter charge with this armed populace unit. Get my general over here. Yeah, that poor uh, pikeman unit didn't really stand a chance. Yeah, you men follow up. They are shattered. Camels into the musketmen. Islamic swordsmen. are going to push into here. These Hindu warriors are probably going to do a real number on this musket unit. Our populous unit's fallen. Got camels charging the first I kill in the rear. They aren't going to be here for very long. We can redirect one unit of camels. Redivert to hit the second in the rear. That means the Hindu musketeers and the Islamic swordsmen can continue pushing. Native auxiliary hit the fifth. Camels continue on the mood on the move. Move up my musketeers because they don't really matter. Are you killing my gun crews? You're not. Yeah, fundamentally, they're in a bit of a... They're a bit stuck. Charge on into the armed populace. Now you chaps chase down the Dakil. Dakili. This musketeer unit push up into the centre. The Islamic swordsman unit is going to run up, run up to back them up. Did you kill them all? Nice. Get up here to hit that unit of duck eel. We need to send someone to go after their mortars. It's probably going to be this unit of... Both of them, actually. There's a lot of mortar crews. Get up here as fast as your little, not-quite, horse legs can carry you. There you go, my drummer's bodyguard. You should be getting off some shots. I oh know you've got uh, like a proper war elephants. Although you should have. Is it because you're not in the right position? Because you guys should be getting out uh, muskets and opening fire. There we go. You have to reload first. Yeah, but the scent is broken. The mortars have started firing. Get some Islamic swordsmen up here. Yeah, there we go. They're doing, they are doing a number on my camels. Get my artillery to attack the armed populace. It's only this unit of Dakili that are actually holding in the centre. Yeah, these some of these might be my artillery that's missing as well. But that's a lot of mortars to charge down. But once you get within a certain distance, the mortars can't get you. Just keep on running. You men charge down the armed populace, because you'll... My Islamic swordsman will do it. Ooh! Poor souls. Well, at least it means they're not firing upon my camels. And now my camels can... Actually, yeah, both aim at different ends of the line. Yeah, the fourth aren't likely to stand. 
Yeah, this is why I like to blow a hole in the wall so that when I go for the count, go for their um, artillery that remains, I can do it quickly without having to climb the walls, capture the gates. You know, it's all a lot more manageable. Hit the eight-inch mortars. Broken. Everyone's broken. Again, it is still only this unit here. Cease fire the guns. Yeah, they've broken just when their general has also fallen. Charge the last team to make sure they don't stick around. Especially before any of the other units actually regroup. That would be super annoying. Go on, camels. Yes, there we go. I wonder if we've captured the city now. So, like, we've been sieging it for a while. Yes, excellent. Okay, but yeah, I'm curious to see if we've taken the city. Because if we have, that would be very useful. Nope, sadly not. Well, it doesn't appear to be. Well, maybe, I don't know. It doesn't look like we moved in. But then again, it also looked like they had no garrison. So, if we didn't take it this turn, we are going to get it next turn. But we should be doing fairly well in the finance department. Well, relatively well. Barbary States and the pirates are going to do what they do. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's not bad. First order of business. Let's get rid of this tea plantation because they're going to break it. You men. Okay, right. If I move you guys over to Eugene. You don't rebel. You can back them up. You men get into Eugene. You chaps replenish. You're not in the best shape. But I'll take what army I can get. Ultimately rebels only they don't really they don't do any create any problems outside of your province and they always go back to your city sooner or later. Um elsewhere. Um what do I want to do? So we no, we didn't get Akbarabad, but I am going to <laughs> demand the surrender of the city. Very well, then I will just slaughter your garrison. So, ooh, minus 22. They do not like us. So we want to get rid of that university. I'm not going to do it permanently. Got a madrasa, which is good. Bawdy house, which is a smart upgrade. Maharaja's palace and the school of arts. You men replenish. You men replenish. I mean, Lahore's... Well, it's not easily taken. There's not much of a garrison in it, but okay, you're going to hold here. You're going to hold there. Can you, can you replenish any more? Yeah, so, a bit of replenishment. Um, okay, no ports are, are left unoccupied. In terms of research, yeah, I'd like to keep hold of the university, but I'm not going to be able to. Swing a pattern there. Carcass shot. Yes, please. Although I'm probably going to need to upgrade somewhere. I definitely, yeah, I have cast a shot. Although I want to get, no, I need to get explosive shells to get great arsenal. Because it's the great arsenal I need to build howitzers. Although none of these things look like I can build howitzers. Ooh. Great guns. Nice. Okay. Let's leave it as it is. Louisiana. Hello. Let us trade. Okay. Let us trade and I will give you four field crop rotation, eh? Yes. Good man. Quebec. Hey, that means France is gone. Tech. Okay. Let's just trade. No? Okay. What if I offer you trade? And carbines. Okay, trade. Carbines and plug bayonet. Trade. Tech. Carbines, plug bayonet. Fine, have all of them. Have the lot. Excellent. Because the trade will. The, the tax income, or the trade income, will do us a lot more than it does for them. 10,000. Well, it's not a huge amount, but at least we are trading with them. Cool. Uh, okay, so we're up to 10 grand next turn. Akbarabad's like been taken, but we need, now we need to pacify it. We've got a rebel, rebellion here in Eugene, but elsewhere it looks pretty stable. Okay, let's hit N10. The Great Britain's pasting the pirates. I don't like that, because that could be an army heading my way. Ooh, I don't like 
the Dutch fleet moving in. Okay. I don't know. Huh. So, I'm uncomfortable about the Dutch. Well, first, well I'll... I'll, I'll yeah, I need to have a look at what the Dutch diplomat diplomacy panel is because it looks like they've also taken Strasbourg, which means that's how they've destroyed the French. So I need to see who they're at war with because if they're not at war with anyone, that's that's a problem. Or well, potentially a problem. Because on hard difficulty mode, everyone is particularly aggro against the human player. So if they're not at war with Prussia, and they're not at war with Spain, potentially causes causes us problems down the line. Yeah, your agents in northern India are abandoning the school. You can raid my um, towns if you like. Could build a school in Bengal, but I need to upgrade the government building in Bengal and some happiness buildings to make sure they stay happy. <laughs> It's nice seeing the Barbary states just get chewed up. Hey, you're going to get a break of farm. You're not even going to get there in one turn. Okay, so that was the rebellion. Not the rebellion, the raid. So you guys just... Yeah, mop them up. Get back to a depot. Replenish. Okay. You guys replenish. I need to take this opportunity to just rebuild my guys. Still minus one, but that's not bad, because it means next turn they're going to break something. Let's repair these buildings as well. Uh, ooh, smiths. That's important. Yes, it is important. I don't have any smiths to get critically measuring tools. So, it's tempting to maybe knock down one of these other buildings and replace that with a school. Hmm. Hey, it's mine. Okay, yeah, and again, Calcutta is also quite a good target because we've got a couple of good opportunities to upgrade here. We have a tavern which we can upgrade. Which I might do that now, really. Let's build a school. Build the body house. Upgrade the mansion. Upgrade the school of arts. Nagpur, have you got... You don't even have basic roads. Then let's just go for some farm upgrades. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I get... Take my weak ship. Let's see what they're doing at Ceylon. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Okay, you guys go back. They can't take any of our... So you are within range of our cart. So I wonder... Let's put you in my Because so if they land in our cart, next turn we can move and be right next door if they try to attack. And it also gives us a bit of stability to protect Goa and potentially go up the west coast as well, maybe. Two tea plantations and we've got a small madrasa built here at Ahmedabad, which is good. So we'll start converting the population, which is excellent. 14,000 next turn, which is could be really, really useful. Because, yeah, the we've, we've captured... <laughs> right, okay. Um, call the allies in, probably. Hopefully they're not joined by Prussia. Good. Sweden abandoned us. So where are you going to go? <laughs> right, okay. So, Ceylon is going to be recaptured by my soaring forces. Spain. <sighs> Spanish alliance. Interesting. They're at war with the Cherokee, the Barbary States, and the Pirate. Yeah, go on, because they're offering us money. Not very much, but I need my allies now. Well, allies would be useful. How about an Ottoman Empire? Do you fancy it, good Muslim brothers? Ah... Oh. I, I don't know if our Mysore garrison is going to be in range to stop them from attacking Goa. And to be honest, they're depleted already, so I don't really know what state they're in. Because they did fight the French on Ceylon. Hey. I'll take that. They abandoned us to not join war with the United Provinces, and then they gave us money to be allies again. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. 
But I'm hoping I can take Ceylon and get a piece. Yeah, the Mughals, they're not out there. They're not done. I mean, there's still those rebels. But then, I'm not, nothing to worry about those rebels. I need to put a navy as well. But I think it's... I think we're in an okay position to kind of keep everything that we need to protect protected. I, it's, it's probably better for me in the long run to sink it into my economy. Yeah, you're on the way. So they've, they've, round, they've raided a, a uh, farm and now my army's completely replenished. You idiots. Come at me. Cobbled roads in Kutak, cobbled roads in Calcutta. Good. You in range? No, sadly not. You're close. The trouble is, will the... Satara's not got a good garrison. Okay, you guys. I tailored up to Goa. Because I've got no ship. Well, I could potentially have moved you by ship. That might have been a better idea. Let's recruit a sloop. Maybe two sloops. But let's not dwell on it because... Okay, Akbarabid is now under our control. Can... Oh, I doubt... I'll be able to do an old switcheroo. Repair the madrasa. Let's build you into a smith's to unlock the blacksmithing technology route. You guys are going to stay as... Or are you? Far away. Kernul, you're here. Yeah, maybe you might become a school town? No. You definitely need to become a school town. But I'm probably going to want to also... Build a tea plantation, build a spice plantation. Actually, are you limited yet? No. Let's try and have a look. Are any of my territories limited in terms of exports? Because if they're not limited, then I can carry on upgrading my production without worrying so much about my ports yet at this stage. Such as you. Tea plantation, spices and tea are upgraded down here to meagre yield. Average yield, cotton, low yield, low yield, meagre yield, low yield. Such poor yields. But still, get them upgraded. And let's maybe slip in some, 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 comma, one. Hindu must continue to sit in our carts. Yeah, they rioted in Hindustan, but they, was, they just broke their own uh, madrasa, which I'm going to rebuild. Can I start to tax you now? No, because you will definitely rebel. I have to wait one more turn. So you lost trade with the United Provinces. Can't trade with the Spanish, which is unfortunate. So they, so we're going to be attacked by the rebels at Eugene. We're going to be attacked by the Dutch. We don't see what art condition their army is in. But I wonder if we're going to be within range. Let's find out. <laughs> he didn't even take the city. They didn't even want to fight because my army would just obliterate them. Which means they, they must be super weak. Which is great, because then we can... But what I kind of want to do is when I start earning money... Oh yes, please, Ottomans. When I start earning a lot of money, I'm going to want to fortify my coastlines. And just build forts and build garrisons to hold those forts. So then my, my actual armies can go to town. Yeah, but getting the second school in Bengal will be useful. And probably... Well, getting the smiths will definitely be useful. Because I want measuring tools to get better road networks established throughout my territory. But I'm content with my with a more um, relaxed advance against the Mughals. Because they are still generating troops. Fair, yeah, that's, that is completely true. Um, but we still have the firepower advantage. And at a time of our choosing, we will attack Lahore. And once we've taken Lahore, we will then move north. Ooh, they better not come at me. 
But yeah, I need to... The next time I get a port that's not... That's a... Uh, a second port to an already existing... Uh, existing port... Facilitated region, let's say. Uh, I, I'll build that up into a dry dock. <laughs> Come at us, rebels. Come at us. Hopefully we can destroy them, because then this frees up this army to potentially move towards Nerun. Because then we'll have an army that can attack Lahore, one can hit Nerun, one can hit Srinagar, and then we've got our front line with um, Persia, which might cause us problems, but it might actually be brilliant. So, we're not going to be defensive. I mean, my guns... This hill's not bad if you advance forward. Got a very small infantry front line, but then again, the force we're fighting is pitiful. Melee infantry are going to act as surrogate cavalry. We have our own large amounts of cavalry as well, which is rather nice. They're going to push up both flanks. Come on, then. just get everyone shifting. My guns should generally have been the first thing to be moved, but I don't think the battle is going to be on for long enough. I mean, the arm peasantry, arm peasantry, arm peasantry, Pindari horsemen, arm peasantry, arm peasantry, and dervishes. This is what you get for rebelling against your lord. The Hindu is going to come in and teach you the Hindus and the Hindons. Yeah, you've opened up on us, Pindari Horseman. Don't even care. Camels hit the armed peasantry. You men hit the armed peasantry. You men storm in as well. Everyone just advance. Yep, there. The line has been hit by Islamic swordsmen and they do not like it. These Islamic swordsmen are cutting open the armed peasantry. I mean, look how... Islamic swordsmen, they got plus three attack, the same amount of charge bonus, a lot more defense, and they got less morale than dervishes, but dervishes are squidgy. Okay, very well. Camels, chase down the armed peasantry. Swordsmen, deploy. Everyone keep on advancing, especially around the rear. Keep my infantry pushing along the line and then divvy up any routing units to cavalry. There might be a bit of fratricide from the musketmen damaging people. Okay, you guys go for them. You guys go for them. Swordsmen, keep pushing onto the horsemen. Get my cavalry against their Pindari horsemen. Get my camels in against them. You men push against that unit there. Just slam into the side of this cavalry unit just to try and shatter them, which you have done. And we are going to continue because the enemy are rebels. Rebel skirm. You men walk back to your lines. You continue to attack. Yeah, don't waste your time attacking them anymore. Get you men out of the way. All my melee infantry just get back. Leave this to the mounted troops. Yeah, hopefully if we annihilate them, we can... Uh, we can end up destroying the army on the campaign map, which is pretty ideal. Then, when that happens, we will have secured this region entirely, because normally... 
when the rebel forces have been depleted and destroyed, most units or most cities that are currently high with high that have high levels of unrest, they generally settle down, accept what's going to happen, and peace out. There we go. The peasantry's down. Then everyone against. This last unit of armed peasantry, which seems like a bit of a no-brainer because I'm not going to... Eh, let's bring these camels over. I was unsure about bringing the camels over because they might be so... They're so very slow, but you know what? May as well. The more cavalry you've got, the better they spread out and figure out who they want to kill. I think this is the last cluster. I know there's one guy over there. Yes, decisive victory. That's what we want to see. So there you go. 42 men remaining. Obviously, they're still alive. Imam in Bishop Bihapur. Okay. Getting to Goa. Because they're Catholics. Uh, you are going to dispatch a mounted contingent to take them out. There they go. Then come back to Ajane. 11 grand. We've got you men. Replenish. Replenish. These men. Upgrade the Thracker's Corks. It's a cool grand. Same here. And upgrade the cobbled roads. Repair the farm buildings. You can't upgrade much. Okay, let's first of all, it's Imam in Hindustan. Handy. We've got a we don't have a religious building over here, but let's begin to convert the population of Calcutta to get rid of that religious unrest. Trade gained. No sense of shame. That's one of my agents, not my minister. Enemy raid on the plantations, you fools. Basic roads in Nagpur, which we've got. Rice farms. I mean, we've got so many farms to upgrade. Basic iron mines, rice farms. Traditional university in Sringapatna. So, you're going to get a bit of a boost. It also means that you'll get to research next level. Philosophical technologies, which are the MVPs. Public servant dies very well. Let's check our ministers, see if we... Okay, so justice minister, that's a bit pants. Plus one management. Uh, four stars, basic. Plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one army. Okay. And you are plus one. Okay, you got some extra baggage with you. This chap's the man. There you go. Increase repression, reduce cost of town watch. I'm not that bothered about cycling everyone out because my ministers are generally quite good. Okay, right. So. Weaver's Cottages are great investments, especially prosperous ones. That's a lot of money. In terms of research, yeah, but next level. I mean, we need to get. We do a lot of upgrading of our military capacity. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Like Armoured Lancers to me. Which is very, very tempting, naturally. But I think we want to keep booming. So let's go. Someone like. Oh, Cart. Upgrade a prosperous weaver's cottage. And upgrade. Never G or G or very poor. Do we just upgrade a bunch of farms? Because farms, I mean, they don't. They provide some stable income and they help us help our towns expand. I'm not necessarily worried about which farms we upgrade. Because there's so damn many. It's probably cases to upgrade lots of them. Except for maybe... Oh, no, you are. You've got a town there plus a port. Okay, a pop growth there will work. But let's take you and attack the... Da <laughs> that's not even... <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> this army's obliterated. Yeah, let's take him out. And this army's going to refit and sail across to Ceylon and take it. We're going to take it from the Dutch. And then they're going to... I want to slowly start to um, upgrade this army with better units. 
but it does mean investing in my military, which I'm not necessarily doing as much as I should, but I am a sucker for economic upgrades. So deploy my guns with my one bugged gun team. And we've got a good mix here. Well, these are my infantry guards, aren't they? Okay. So my basic line is going to push up. My infantry guards are going to hold the place of honour on the right flank. Melee infantry hold the line. Cavalry split up. I'm going to get my general involved as well. Although they didn't really look at the ground I was going to be attacking. So let's push you guys up the left at speed. Let's take three melee units. Push you guys up at speed. You men do the same. You men do the same. You men advance up to this motley crew in the corner. Plus get my general and my cavalry up here rapidly. My guns are engaging the enemy artillery, but that's not really what I want them to aim at. The VOC infantry looks pretty good. Sepoys. Those are traitors, you mean. Traitors and slaves. Hello, what's this? Go get him, Islamic swordsman. These Amandari horsemen go for the general's bodyguard. No, they've immediately reversed course. Because Obashi Musketeers advanced to secure the forward position. Another unit of melee troops pushed in against the colonial light cavalry. They didn't really have much of a hope. So then you men push up to point blank range, push up my melee troops right behind them. My cavalry push up, my elephants advance. You men smash that sepoy, sepoy unit. All my guns open up against the 39th regiment. They haven't even got fire by rank. Bayonet charge. Teach them the fury of our people. Get in here, general. And the horsemen go after the general's bodyguard. Camels go after the sepoys. The horsemen get over here. Hey, you can't just attack my squares. I just go mad. They have zero mass. My Islamic swordsman will cut through them like a hot knife through cheese. That's right, not butter, cheese. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt. That goes to the 25th. Take out the cavalry, it's my Indian cavalry guards. Cease fire my guns because they're starting to get a bit close. Make sure you men all have guard mode turned off so that when these chaps break, you will pursue. Actually, one of you guys will advance against that unit, you men advance against the guns. The enemy are out of here. Poor old United Provinces. You had such high hopes for your Indian Empire. But you know what? We don't think much of it. Kill the gunners. Eh, 
we're going to continue. But we're going to end up being, in general, just pull people back. And then, where my cavalry are, redeploy them. Camels. Okay, speed up time. Give my camels, camels an order to attack that gun, that, um, gun crew. You men took them out. You guys go after... Oh, go after... Oh, doesn't matter. Both of those units are spread out. You guys go after the sepoys. You guys go after this gun crew. You're all going to try and get them, but they're going to be quite close. Yeah, you've got a handful of them, maybe. They're all going to route safely. At least you're going to knock out that gun crew. There's just not very many guys left on the field. What? Close? That wasn't close. Let was slaughter. Nice. And whatever's left, we will select all my guys. Actually, even with my artillery, I can get to them. Just auto resolve that action there because. Just, yeah. Nice. 37 gold. Not a lot to replenish with, but whatever. Let's get back to Mysore. Research and tech is on... Yeah, explosive shells gives, gets us the next level artillery building. When you guys have reorganised, you can advance towards Nerun. To be honest, can you already take over custodianship of Barabad? You can, because they're going to write a letter of complaints and then figure it out. Advance towards Lahore. We're going to siege it and not attack it. We're just going to siege it to prevent them from training more troops. Because the main thing is I want to try and... Well, I, need to I want to develop my economy. Because there's, there's going to be plenty more Dutch armies. Especially now they have no one to fight. And... There's so much stuff I want to do, and I need money, damn it. Ooh, see, it's not it's not impossible for the for the Ottoman Empire to break their alliance and see me as an easy target. But I want to build up my economy, build up my uh, research and intellectual property base, gain some more advanced technologies in economy and in artillery and in shipbuilding before going too mad and potentially send expeditionary forces over to the Caribbean, particularly Cuba, because that's a currently Dutch-held territory. Good, good, good. People are going to leave us alone largely for a turn. We could attack Lahore immediately, but I don't want to, because that will put us... Give it that will make us have a natural border with Persia, which I don't want yet. Four or five turns, maybe, but not at the minute. I could probably do with upgrading my armies in general as well. Twelve grand, Eastern Scholar and Mysore. Okay, you are going to go up to the spot Patna here, because yeah, they're already not entirely sure what to make of it. So probably going to go... Oh, we want to go for Raj's Observatory, because that gets us less happiness, but it gives us... Uh, it makes research faster, and it gets us an additional scholar. So we want that. And we also want to upgrade the boarding house to a brothel. We can't upgrade either of these buildings yet. 9,000 we got. So you... And replenish. Get back to Mysore. You went over to our cart. Rebuild a plantation. Hey, you've got a new town. You are going to be a craft workshop. I'm going to repair this craft workshop. So you've got Hindustan under control. Yes, do all this. Oh, I do have another mouse. Uh, yeah, just hold on to it for now. It'll take them five turns before they try and uh, break out. But push up and have a look at Srinagar. Yeah, nothing there. Go have a look at Kabul. Military technology, explosive shells. But now we should have 
Oh no, is that not being not built yet? Well, even so. Oh no, there we go. Iron. Oh, do I need to build an iron workshop? Yes, I think I do. Build an iron workshop. When that's done, that's perfect technology level for Patna. And Patna's actually probably going to go for Sextant. Just increase some range to help me make it easier to reoccupy my ports if I get kicked out of them. And it's a low level technology that Patna can do fairly happily. So then we're on to 17 Hundo. Probably going to be farms, fundamentally. Although I could, I really could do with... Like, you've just got regular cannons, and I could get 12 pounders, because 12 pounders... Less range, less firepower, but more accurate. Sikh warriors, Hindu warriors, Kizobashi, Hindu musketeers. Lots of good stuff. But for now... Really, I still do want to focus on my income, which I mean, I know farms are not necessarily the best things to build, but they are still useful. I still have to keep that population boom. Raj's observatory might not necessarily be the best for you, but we're going to take advantage of having lots of low cost farms to upgrade. Good stuff. Okay, so now you can also get over to our carts. Let's move a sloop over to Barcalore. Good. You men reoccupy or recombine. You guys can now leave Malwa fairly happily and advance. Probably pick up these three infantry and then advance towards Nerun. Because once Akbarabad's taken is uh, brought into the fold. This army can march up to Srinagar and then subject, subdue that territory there. Um, okay, cool. So now we're on to 12,000 next turn because we're still... We've got, oh, I mean, we're already boosting our trade output, but we're probably also driving down prices. Yeah, the Dutch aren't going to... They're not going to let us get away with what we've done too easy. I mean, we are going to take Ceylon, and that's going to uh, biff them in the nose somewhat. But yeah, fundamentally, I want to, be, want to be focusing on upgrading my industry. Because it's industry that's the money earner. Especially as I can't get um, next level roads, so all these turns I'm burning just aren't helping me as much as they could be. But these things happen. It's a bit weird, I've conquered almost all of India, yet the... You, you, you guys are going to march north to try and break the siege of Lahore? Looks like they may attempt it. Looks like Lahore also has a university, which... Isn't bad. I'm probably going to have to occupy the city with a full army anyway, because it's on the frontier. But fundamentally, it's we just, just carry on what we're doing. We've got two universities. Actually, that works out quite well, because then that'll be the third. I usually like three universities. That's a good amount to get a, a solid drumbeat of new technologies emerging. You can get away with two. One, I think, just puts you behind the curve. Okay, so you guys advance. Ooh. Awkward. But not game-breaking. So you men... To be honest, you men then. Garrison Ahmedabad would be my northwest garrison unit. You guys fall back to my sword. I'm going to figure out what to do with you. Because once you take Lahore, they've only got Srinagar left. Did they sell them territory here? They must have sold them. They must have given them something good. Or paid them a lot of money. Paramaribo. Okay, would be good. Yeah, the territories are getting snapped up. Prussia's going to be a real nutcracker. Um, but let's probably get a military academy and an ordnance factory just to up 
just to open up those new technologies and then focus on towns again but they are they are very expensive come on get away there you go towns town upgrades are expensive but by god are they worth it cobbled roads dirt roads are cheap wow i think upgrading you makes a lot of sense then let's start at the bottom and work our way up i suppose i suppose canoe Let's upgrade you to a smith's. Yes, sir. And then all these men, all these men, uh, all this money we have left gets spent on you guys. Although I might actually pick my weakest Hindu musketeer unit, combine them to other units. Let's bring a Sikh warrior into the field. Actually, no, maybe a Sikh musketeer unit. You've got a long way to go, because they're probably being recruited up here in Akbarabad. Yeah, they are. Because that's the one that's got a drill school. Oh, can I not build? I can't recruit Seek Musketeers down here. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Lahore's under siege. You guys are just going to hold position. You guys are going to hold position as well. Akbarabad can now be taxed. Extra two grand turn. Maintain sieging Lahore. Let's hit in turn. Yeah, the Brits are keeping the Caribbean open for trade. At least for now. I wouldn't be surprised to see Prussia sending troops against us. I could try and buy that territory from the Ottomans, but they're probably not going to let us get it easy. So I do like to have a homogenous front line. I don't like having pockets behind the line where other nations can stab me in the back and screw me over and cause me lots of problems. You guys going to attack us? You're trying to steal our tech? I mean, why not? Meanwhile, we have another turn. Another turn to upgrade our economy and once we've got Mysore's backbone if you like upgraded then we're just gonna we're gonna wreck the world basically okay so you guys just get down to Mysore upgrade you I mean you can see how quick it is to just dump all your money into upgrading industry before you know it, you've got nothing and like, plantations are good. They are good. But. Ooh, Pondicherry. Okay, I did say. You've already. You're not limited on exports. No, you're pretty good. And you've still got Madras that's going to develop, which is. Here. So let's get you. Let's build a shipyard. Then we've got 1400, which is in perfect farm building territory, mostly. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Dang it. Dang it. Nabbit. A couple of good upgrades. 13,000 next turn. Okay, now we're going to start popping because we're going to see our tax income outstrips our trade tax, our trade income. And it's growing to the point where hopefully soon we can ignore, well, not ignore trade, but trade will no longer rule what we do. Okay, because that's a military dockyard, you can get a levy. Because that way it makes it easy to stop, not have to move ships in and out. And things like that. Three more turns till you get carcass shot. How many turns till this is built? One more turn. Okay. Seek Musketeers have been recruited, so... Seek Musketeers, I'm pretty sure, are, they're up there in terms of Musketeer quality. Although those are my, those are my inventory guards, that's cheating. Oh, I'll wait till they're all combined. Yeah, Persia's got a, a large force at Kabul, so we're going to want to take Lahore, then try and push on towards the bridge separating Lahore. 
Ooh, the Prussians are attacking the Ottomans. Figure it out, Ottomans. Good job they were already at war. They didn't call us in. That's the only is a stack full of PO Germans off of my coast. Sweden's at war. Oh, this is this is delightful. They're doing their own thing. They're welcome to it. Hey, are we going to be attacked? Eh, it's going to be you guys plus some reinforcements plus you guys plus you guys. That seems all rather doable. Sink musketeers are uh, so they're better than my guys actually quite substantially. But I'm still going to fight it. I'm not a madman. But looking at the timer, I think this would be ripe for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for probably the last significant battle against the Mughal Empire. Cheers, everyone.